This video is to emphasize the importance of safe cable management. It is not intended to indicate operational procedure of roll-on, roll-off trucks, nor should it be interpreted as such. Hi, my name is Bruce Covert, and I'm the Waste Operations Director for Washington Closure Hanford. The River Corridor Closure Project has been chartered with protecting the Columbia River. In doing so, we've been chartered to clean up numerous waste sites and demolish hundreds of buildings. Upon completing these activities, millions of tons of material will be transported to the Environmental Restoration Disposal Facility. This is an enormous task. Our 50-plus shuttle trucks haul approximately 250 containers per day into the Environmental Restoration Facility. This allows our operators and teamsters to dispose of 5,000 tons of material on a daily basis. We recognize that strong planning and training lead to a successful and safe operation. This is important not only for your own safety, but for the safety of your coworkers. This video will focus on the safety methods to be able to load and unload containers on your shuttle trucks. Before vehicle operation at the start of a shift or change of shuttle trucks, inspect the equipment to ensure the components are in good condition for safe cable management. If the shuttle truck is empty, inspect the lift cable for damage, such as kinks or broken strands. The thimble at the D-ring should also be inspected to verify a secure connection. Check the condition of the D-ring for physical damage or compromise to the structural integrity. If the shuttle truck is loaded, verify cable tightness and that the secondary safety pin is actuated. The hydraulic system can bleed down over time, relieving the tension on the cable. Inspect the D-ring and container hook for signs of damage or compromise to the structural integrity. Visually verify that the D-ring is fully seated in the throat of the container hook. Elevate the lift frame to allow the container to roll back. Let out the cable to allow the container to roll past the secondary safety pin mechanism. Then draw the cable in to pull the container tight against the primary stop of the tilt frame. Lower the lift frame to the horizontal position and visually ensure the secondary safety pin is actuated. Before unloading operation, check ground personnel clearances to the front, sides, and rear of the shuttle truck. Refer to project operational procedures for correct clearance distances. Once the vehicle is backed into the proper location for unloading and all clearances have been checked, Proceed with the container unloading process. Raise the hoist frame before letting out the cable. The automatic safety pin will disengage upon raising the hoist frame. Do not slack the cable until the locking pin is disengaged. As the container slowly slides down the rails, let out the cable and lower the container from the bed of the shuttle truck or trailer. When the container is securely on the ground, Grasp the cable, remove the D-ring from the hook, and securely stow the D-ring into the storage basket on the vehicle. Some shuttle trucks use a hanger rod for D-ring stowage instead of a basket. Before deadheading operation, reeve in the cable to remove excess slack Never use the hydraulics to pull the D-ring into the storage basket. The D-ring and cable could become snagged on the container or the truck bed, resulting in excessive tension on the cable. Sudden release of this will result in the cable whipping. A D-ring that is not properly stored in the vehicle storage basket could become caught on the container or the vehicle when the empty frame is lowered creating a tension on the cable that could release with excessive force. Again, a situation which would be very dangerous.
Before loading operation, check ground personnel clearances to the front, sides, and rear of the shuttle truck. Refer to project operational procedures for correct clearance distances. During container loading, proper procedure must be followed as well to ensure operator safety. Back the truck to the container, ensuring that the tilt frame is properly aligned with the rollers for safe container loading. Too great a distance between truck and container will result in dragging the container and can cause it to shift out of alignment. Once the vehicle is properly in place for container loading, raise the tilt frame and approach the hitch point. Remove the D-ring from the vehicle's storage basket and securely place it on the container tow hook. Be cautious of the cable and D-ring pinch points. Inspect the cable to ensure that there is no twisting or buckling of the wire rope. Visually ensure that the D-ring is properly seated in the throat of the tow hook and that no slippage or movement will occur when a load is applied to the cable. Check to make sure that the cable is not tangled with the rollers or caught on other truck frame equipment. Make sure that the cable is in a straight line between the container hook and the lift frame shiv. Ensure that the truck is lined up squarely with the container so the roller and rail engagement is correct. Operate the hydraulics to slowly draw the container squarely up against the tilt frame and proceed with the proper loading of the container onto the truck or trailer. If the D-ring is not properly seated in the throat of the hook and the loading or unloading process takes place, the cable and D-ring could whip in a sudden release of energy, resulting in very serious operator injury or damage to equipment. Do not begin moving the truck forward before the container has reached the roller stops. You will have numerous opportunities to have incidents with one of these shuttle trucks. We need you to stay focused, utilizing the methods that were contained within the video. In doing so, you will ensure your safety and that of your co-workers.